Hi, my name is Courtney Terry and this is Arts Alive. My guest today is Monica Setzel Phillips and we are here to talk about the art conspiracy, which is a West takes place out in the West Valley. And we were saying I was admiring the shirt that said 20 years of art conspiracy, but as you pointed out, it's been going on even longer than it's that. It's been going on a little longer. We, <laughs> and we didn't and we didn't figure in the t three years we were off because of COVID. But it's been around, so this will be our 22nd year. Wonderful. And it's the West, when we say West Valley, what we mean is Grand Ronde, Willamina, Sheridan, Amity, and then those students from that area, they get priority, but we do open it up after that. Mm -hmm. And so anybody from Yamhill County ostensibly could come and we have had a wide range. Not, it's usually just one or two from a wider area, but, mm -hmm. but we also get a number of students from McMinnville. Yeah. So uh, and it's been very successful. Wonderful. And uh, we should say it, it's an amazing program, and so it's a variety of arts classes yes, it's for unusual students. unusual in that we have, in, when we first started, I got together a group of women and we discussed what was needed for kids in the summer. And very shortly, we all agreed that what was needed was a meaningful, meaningful yes. arts program for kids. And so we decided from the get-go that one, we would pay instructors because we wanted them to feel like the program was theirs. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to be able to draw the best instructors we could. And we also wanted to have classes that weren't like 40 minutes long or 45 minutes long. We wanted classes. So our classes are two and a half hours long. The program is always the last two weeks of June. Mm -hmm. And this year it's a little different because of as you know, I'm sure, Juneteenth is now a federal holiday. Oh, yes. So we can't run the program on the first week. We have to run the program Tuesday through Friday, mm -hmm. which unfortunately knocks us out of our field trip. So the first week is Tuesday through Friday, and the second week is Monday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. So that's eight total classes. But when you put that together, if a, if a child takes a morning class and an afternoon class, mm -hmm. which most kids do, um, they're getting a total of 40 hours of art ed because classes are two and a half hours long. And, and that's unusual. Most, program, most programs don't run that long. No. And the other thing we wanted was instructors who really knew their field. Mm -hmm. And this year, we, we last year was a smaller year because of making that comeback. And this yes. year, we're offering 12 classes. Oh, my goodness. Which is really exciting. Yes. And I want to tell you what they are. Okay. <laughs> we have watercolor and drawing. Printmaking is back. We didn't have that for a couple of years. Oh. We're having a class of basic embroidery and basic sewing, and a creative construction class with recyclable uh, objects. Oh, neat. And we're having an interesting class that is the art of sign painting, because we have a first class, which people in the area don't even know, um, a first class sign painter um, that lives in Sheridan now. Oh, wow. And so we are really excited to have him. And he's also, uh, because he did his, not on computer, but the old fashioned way with his hand, oh my students will learn to do that. And he has beautiful, um, basically, calligraphy. Uh, so we're really excited about that. That's wonderful. Then we're having photography, mm -hmm. which is a comeback also as well. Excellent. And musical theater, 
which was very successful last year, we're having for the first time a class in recorder. Oh. So kids can learn how to play the recorder from a man who is um, a very, very fine recorder player himself. And then we have, I'd say, we've ha of the Shakespeare people we've had, because we've always taught Shakespeare, uh -huh. we've had two that were really outstanding. And, and Evan Tate, who will again teach Shakespeare for us, is just really wonderful in getting kids not just to say the language, but to understand what yeah. they're saying, which is, which is very, very wonderful. And then a brand new class, mm -hmm. which is mural paintings. <gasps> so we're working with the Sheridan Revitalization Committee, mm -hmm. and the kids are going to design and paint a mural, which then will go on a building in Sheridan. Oh. Wow, so that's, that's such yeah, a cool program. It is really cool. And then the last one I want to talk about is is Paula Pelnat's class in taper mache. And it's not mache. paper mache, it's taper mache. Because what she does is she wraps, she has a wire and they mm -hmm. shape the wire and then they wrap it with tape and then they can paint it. And so she has them create these wonderful, um, magical, imaginary figures. And the other wonderful thing about it is that she decided to incorporate having them uh -huh. write about those creatures. Oh, that's so wonderful. So that's they so wonderful. will not only show at the final presentation, mm -hmm. which will be Friday evening, June the 30th at Sheridan High School. Oh, great. And the public is invited. Wonderful. So not only will they show these, as all the classes will show their work, mm -hmm. um, but she will have their what the, what they have written about that character. I love so, that. Yeah. I like that. And it's just, because it's... Well, we're trying to involve... We'd love to have a class just in creative writing. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is a way to kind of Get work our way that. into that. Because a lot of kids think by the end of the year, writing, ugh. So. But, well, and this is, I love how it's, it's like it's the whole process. Like yes. there is, like they're designing the monsters and then or right. creatures or the whatever they, they choose are, to yeah. create. You know, they're designing them, they're building them, they're doing the construction and, telling, and the art, and then yeah, and, and then, then they get telling to telling the story, which yeah. is you know maybe practice for a someday artist statement that they do that's, on the show yes, in there. That, that, oh, that's a good point. Oh, that's thanks. A good yeah. point. Oh, and that's what, and I just I love how there's such a wide diversity of of different things that they can learn about right. and yeah like you say having the real like having professionals in the field yes with that extra time i mean yeah they really can you know and when we first started people said oh you'll never get kids to pay attention for two and a half hours you know but they love it yeah they love it because they really can get into it so yes. it's exciting so so a student can sign up for one class in the morning and mm -hmm. one class in the afternoon, and that's for the full two weeks. So that gives them quite a bit of experience. Yes, then. well, for, I mean, 40 hours. Yeah, yeah. Which is so, incredible. Which is really wonderful. And what are the, um, so the ages? The ages are nine through high school. Okay. And we don't make exceptions. Fair enough. <laughs> nine <laughs> is the age. Sounds like. <laughs> yes, yes. After 20 years, that is. I think we know what we're, what yes, we're, yes. 20 very successful years, we, uh, we have made that a, a basic. Fair enough. <laughs> so we do charge tuition, but we have a very wonderful financial aid program, and we've never turned a student away because they couldn't afford it. Wonderful. So they do have to pay a very small fee for materials, mm -hmm. uh, but... Um, yeah, so uh, we would encourage anybody who needs financial assistance to apply and don't worry about the fact that they can't afford it. So that's, that's what we really want to do. And we are, the, the whole particulars of the program are now online on our website. Mm -hmm. And that is www.artconspiracywestvalley.com. 
dot com and we had to add the West Valley because there is another art conspiracy. I, it's a really good name. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> I could see that. It is. Well, and especially having the West Valley part of it in there. I mean, to me, that was what um, I had mentioned that when my child was younger, they did art conspiracy yes. programs, and that was when you know we lived out. Uh -huh. In Grand Ronde and Willamina, and those, there just isn't anything. There's small, yeah. There's small towns, and right. you know, there's kids there. There's yeah. artists there. That's right. And it's uh, just giving these opportunities to kids that are in even that's more right. rural settings. Then, yeah. So that's that's a real boon because they don't get much in the way of the arts. Right. Uh, so. Um, Another reason we made it a wanted to include more than just one because we started in Sheridan, we could have just done Sheridan. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that we wanted to promote was for kids from different areas have the opportunity to get together in a creative way. Yeah. And because mostly what they know about getting together with kids from the other areas is through sports in school, which mm -hmm. is a competitive thing. Right. So we wanted them to have the opportunity to make friends and to get to work, learn to work well with other kids from other areas. Mm -hmm. So that, that has been really wonderful to see that as well. So. And then the, so you mentioned the showcase is happening at Sheridan High School. Is that where yeah. the camp will the take place? The program is at Sheridan. We oh, rotate. Mm -hmm. We rotate. Um, so hopefully next year we'll be in Amity. Last year we were in Willamina. Okay. And we do, because we realize that parents often don't have the ability to or can't afford the time element to take kids and drop them off, we do provide busing from the two communities that are not hosting the program. Oh, great. So there will be a bus from Willamina to Sheridan and uh -huh. a bus from Amity to Sheridan. That just makes it so much more accessible. Yes, absolutely. And and we do get kids. And then if somebody from an outlying area, say somebody from Grand Ron can get their kid to Willamina, mm -hmm. uh, or, or from um, Dayton, say, wants mm -hmm. to get their child to Amity to catch the bus, or McMinnville to Amity to catch the bus. And that happens. Yeah. That happens. So it, it's really... And I will say, we now have um, gotten together a really good number of volunteers because this is an all-volunteer board wow. and it's an all-volunteer run program. Mm -hmm. So we really want the community to be involved. Yes. And, and you can't run um, this kind of a program without volunteers. So we're very happy that in the past couple of years we've been able to get a really good response from the community. Yeah. For example, we have to have bus monitors. We have to have, in Amity last year, I will, Eve Silverman did a fantastic job of lining up bus monitors because we have to have an adult yes. at the site to make sure everybody gets on the bus in the morning and that everybody gets off the bus and picked up in the afternoon. So we have to have that in Willamina and Amity this year. And, and it's, uh, it's the response, the response is start, it's taken a long time, but the response is really building from Wonderful. the community. And the city of Sheridan has given us money uh, and we're hoping that will also, so it would be great if the host city mm -hmm. would put some money into the pot for the program um, each so that that would rotate as well yes. well and it's considering how it's so community oriented and it's yes for the like that, it totally that just makes sense and if folks are <laughs> <laughs> and if folks are interested in volunteering in the future can they get that information from the website as well yes they, yes, they could definitely just leave a message, I think, on the website. They can get in touch if they're interested in volunteering. And another th important thing to mention is that we do work with the schools mm -hmm. in terms of the free lunch program. And oh, so great. we will be offering free lunch to anybody who wants one. 
So that's, uh, we just found that out. So that's another really good thing uh, that we're very happy that we're able to do that. Yeah, it just, once again, just so, makes it even more accessible. Yeah. Well, Monica, yeah. thank you so much for coming and sharing about the art conspiracy today. And then so uh, it starts Tuesday, June 20th. That's correct. Is there a registration date that folks should have things done by? Or is Regist it an ongoing? Well, register. Yeah, they can register right up to the day. Okay. Um, but it's first come, first serve. Fair enough. <laughs> Especially for the classes. That's right. Yeah. We need to. We need to be able to prepare the teachers for how many. Oh, that's another important thing. Let me sneak this in. Okay. Um, <laughs> We limit the class enrollment to 10 students per class because we want a really strong ratio of student to teacher. Excellent. So, it's quality arts education. That's right. That's right. In the summer. That's what we're about. Wonderful. Well, thank you again for coming in and sharing thank with us. Thank you for having us. Wonderful. Thanks. This is Courtney Terry, and this has been Arts Alive. <laughs>